I suppose the uh, single discovery I'm, I'm most pleased with really is the discovery of the protein which is now called annexin A1 as a, as a mediator of steroid action and um, this was the result of quite a lot of work on steroid action uh, in the 80s um, which culminated in a single experiment uh, which demonstrated unequivocally that steroids caused the release of a soluble protein which had steroid-like effects uh, on other cells. Uh, this, uh, when it was finally sequenced and cloned, um, turned out to be a very important property of the protein, which is now well recognized. And this protein has become firmly established as a member of a panel of substances which controls and uh, hastens the healing response uh, in, in uh, following injury or inflammation or infection. Whilst I was working on steroid action and in particular on the problem of how glucocorticoids could block icosanoid or prostaglandin synthesis, I hit upon the idea that, um, that they probably did this by controlling in some way the release of arachidonic acid from somewhere in the cell because the release of arachidonic acid is the uh, rate limiting step in prostaglandin synthesis. I had the idea perhaps that steroids were uh, interacting with the uh, with receptors in the cell to cause changes in the transcription of key proteins and that one of these proteins was released outside the cell and was having these these effects in suppressing prostaglandin generation. The problem was how to test it and this is at a time when uh, the main tools we had were bioassay. And here, uh, history came to my rescue in a way because I remembered Otto Loewy's famous experiment which he demonstrated that uh, vagal stimulation of one isolated heart released a substance, he called it Vagusstoff, into the perfusate which when bathed over a second heart uh, caused the second heart to slow down, thereby showing uh, the, na the chemical transmission of the nervous impulse in the heart. And I remembered that and I thought of a way of adapting that to the, my particular problem. I had two lungs, two perfused guinea pig lungs, or guinea pig perfused lungs I should say, uh, perfused in series so that the effluent of one went into the second lung. I found that by infusing steroids into the first lung they would eventually release a protein which had an effect in the second lung. I knew it couldn't be the steroids that were having the effect in the second lung because I was able to block their effect by adding inhibitors of protein or RNA synthesis. So we had a very neat experiment, pretty much based on Otto Loewy's famous experiment, which quite, de quite clearly demonstrated a, a transferable factor generated in one piece of tissue and transferred in the perfusate pumped through the second uh, tissue to produce a biological effect. And that's, uh, in fact, the effect we also saw when the protein had been cloned and sequenced and we were able to prepare it in a highly purified form.